Hi everybody! A few releases ago, we have implemented feature to export PDF audit of optimization quality of the website you crawled. And we received a lot of requests to add your own logo and contact details inside of this report. And today I'm happy to say that it's available in Netpeak Spider 3.4. And in this video, I want to tell you how to use it to get the most profit. And also we'll discuss other changes in Netpeak Spider 3.4. What is white label report in that big spider? It's audit of optimization quality with your own logo and contact details. First of all, it will be useful for agencies and freelancers during pre-sale stage of their SEO services, but also can be used by in-house team for internal reporting. So let me show you how it looks like. On the main page of the audit, you will see a fancy screenshot of the website you crawled and a big block with your contact details. All through the report, you will see the logo, name, email, company name, website URL and phone number that will show to your client who made this report to increase the brandings of this report. Of course, it consists of a lot of diagrams, infographics, uh, fancy, you know, like visualizations of the data uh, that Netpeak Spider retrieved after crawling of the website. And even if you don't want to send the whole report to your customer, you can make a fancy screenshots to insert to your presentations. I want to also underline that through the whole report, you will not see the name of the tool that have been used to create this report. Thus, your customer will think that uh, this report have been made personally for him. And also, you know, like it's uh, kind of pleasantly that you sent a report with your, own with your own branding, logos, contact details and so on to somebody who will potentially be your customer. It, you know, like increase uh, the the first, uh, you know, like impression. So uh, then I want to tell you about issue section of the report. We have a lot of issues here that have been found on the website. And even if your customer don't, doesn't know uh, what all these uh, issues mean, he will be able to click on any URL. It's like an example of the URL with the issue. So if he doesn't know what does uh, broken pages mean, he will just click on this URL and understand that is the page that doesn't work or like any other issue. If he will want to dig deeper, he will able to click uh, on the URL right from the PDF report and go to this URL. And at the end of this PDF report, we have a call to action block that says, let's discuss, because it's the thing I suppose that uh, you expect him to do after the viewing of the whole report because you want to discuss what will you do further, uh, will he sign this contract or not, and so on. So here you will see that your contact details. If it's email, we add the mail to link. For phone number, it's tell link. So even if he, even if the client will view. Uh, the report from the mobile phone, when he will click on the phone number, the dialer will be open and it's kind of comfortable because even some websites on the internet uh, don't do this and it's... Uh... But, okay, let's go back to the report. So let me show you how to configure this report in Netpeak Spider. You need to go to the settings, then white label tab, click on use white label, then upload your logo. Uh, I advise you to use horizontal uh, orientation logo because it will look more fancy when we will insert to the report. Also more details about how, what logo will look better in this report you will find on this tab. Then we have a blog with the contact details. Here you will have to enter your name, email, phone number, company name or website URL. I want to say that all these fields are not mandatory, so you can leave them empty and it's fine if you don't have, if you don't want to, uh, you know, like show your mobile phone number or something like that, it's fine. And at the end of this tab, we have a checkbox, add the terms and settings page to the audit. For example, if you send this audit to your client, um, 
I'm pretty sure you don't want him to see the settings that have been used to create this report and so on because it's something technical and uh, you don't want to bother him with this. But if you use these reports for internal reportings, like send it to your team leader or just to keep it for yourself for the future, uh, it's a good opportunity to have this checkbox. And I want to underline that white label reports are available for the whole for all clients that are using Pro Plan in for NetPeak Spider. If you have a Pro Plan for NetPeak Spider, it's available for you. If you still uh, don't have this plan, it's fine. Don't forget to go to our website and upgrade your plan after this video. Uh, you know because I will be fired. Um, but okay, uh, don't worry. Don't worry. I, I will not say this. Uh, let's go back. I will. I want to tell you about two other changes in Epic Spider 3.4. First of them is users parameter in Google Analytics integration. Previously, we got sessions, bounce rate, average session duration, and other parameters, but in the main section, we didn't have users. But after some of our clients told us that actually it's essential parameter for our reportings and for our tasks, we decided, okay, that's fine. If somebody from our clients really need it, why not? So if you want to, you know, like implement something that will make your job easier, don't forget to comment below uh, or tell it to our customer support service and online chat on our website. Uh, we always happy to, you know, like implement something new for you that will help you to ease uh, your task and make and make them faster okay and the last change that i want to talk about is um, usually urls have different versions i mean the home page of the website sometimes it's www.site or without www and of course it's two versions of protocols it's http and https Sometimes it happens that our users enter only the domain name, like here, it's like uh, the name of the domain and that's it. But uh, if you will start crawling from this URL, sometimes it's unavailable. So it, it depends on different things like uh, website use HTTP protocol and we try to connect to HTTPS protocol like in this situation when we call uh, HTTPS www version and it's unavailable, it's secure channel failure. So starting from NetPeak, starting from version NetPeak Spider 3.4, if the initial URL is not available, we will try three other versions of this URL. It's like HTTP, HTTPS with www and without www. Thus it will make, you know, like it will make crawling more fluent even if something will go wrong, uh, crawler will continue uh, scanning of the website. Actually, that's it for NetPeak Spider 3.4. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to press thumbs up, comment below and subscribe to our channel. I will be happy to see how numbers increasing. Uh, thanks a lot. I wish you guys a lot of traffic and have a nice uh, day, weekend or any other part of the week. Bye-bye. Uh,